Good evening, Mission Control. Well, here we are again at Lane 2, Bed 1. We've transplanted some uh, of the lettuce and kale that we had from Lane 1 over to Lane 2 so we can see how things are doing. Uh, and tonight, we're actually going to be changing some of the lights around as a continuation of our lighting experiment. So what we've had uh, right now is we've had the lights on here diagonally. Let me show you that. Just to kind of see how things would work. Uh, since it does kind of distribute light out at 120 degrees, so you get about two feet off of the center line here. So that's what the diagonal is for. Tonight what we're going to do is actually take, uh, have one light on this side pointed in, another light on this side pointed in, and a pair on the other side doing the exact opposite. So we'll have four lights total on this bed, and the PAR sensor is right down here in the middle. So we're gonna be able to see, using our existing automation uh, sensor suite, how does the light change on this bed, uh, given that particular setup. So we're gonna do a few different setups. I'm gonna try it uh, with the light angled in, with the light straight down. Uh, I'm very hopeful of the light angled in. We'll see how that does. And I'm, I'm also hopeful that uh, with just the four lights, we can cover a majority of this bed, and maybe that's what we do, is instead of trying to go for 100% bed coverage, we go for like 80% or 60% uh, in the winter time. Uh, maybe that's good enough. You know, I don't know. We gotta, we gotta really look at that. So uh, we're gonna use our handy dandy Martian attachers and literally just take these kind of off what they are right now, which is zip tied in here. Come on. Doesn't it look cool? Just a luck about. Just a luck about. All right, I just got the lights set up. Now they're all angled in. So we have light basically coming down here and going in like this. So we have a little overlap in the middle. That's the most intense area there. It's intense down here. <laughs> Get it? We're in a tent. I'm tired. Uh, okay. So uh, I'm actually gonna move this sensor. Right in, blackout. Okay, that'll be good enough. So we got our sensor right here in the middle. The transplants are actually looking pretty good. We'll just have to see how all that goes. I need to go grab my PAR sensor and take some measurements. I have my handy dandy PAR sensor here. We're gonna take some measurements like we've been doing. So let's see here, at bed level, it's about 7 o'clock p.m. right now, and we're at 1.4 par, which is micromoles per meter squared per second. And as I move into the new setup, 2, 3, 4, 7, 13, 52, 67, 60. I'm at 60 micromoles per meter squared per second. That's a lot better than the 20 that was there. Of course, we got double the light, so you'd expect that to be the case. Point it directly at the light, which some of you have asked me to do here. We're at 72. We'll point it at that light. Yeah, 72 is pointed directly at the light from the ground. Right up at the light. Right. Oops, past it. I wasn't paying attention. Okay, right here 
is 200 par. So at this height, lettuce would get enough light every day to grow. So we're just about six inches, I'd say, six inches from the top of these little guys right here. So as they get bigger, this might actually be good enough. Plant, I'm at 100. And it drops off here in the middle. Three. So this wasn't a bad experiment tonight. This setup shows a lot of promise. It gets the lights out of the way for water coming down. Uh, it sets up a nice daisy chain effect. These particular LEDs can't be daisy chained. Uh, that's one of the things I learned that I needed after the fact. Um, daisy chain is when you connect them in series to each other. Uh, so that would have to be addressed in the lighting solution that we go after. Uh, I did look up fluorescent lights. A lot of you asked me to go do that. The T5 grow bulbs in particular, they simply do not compare to the um, efficiency of LEDs. Uh, they're basically double the cost as far as operating cost goes. Purchase cost, it's lower, um, not by much. Um, these ones right here, these lights are about 50 bucks and you can get uh, a four bulb T5 grow light that's four feet long, which these are four feet long, that has four bulbs in it for right around, I saw the cheapest on Amazon was like 78 bucks um, that you can get. Then the challenge is that each of those bulbs use 54 watts. Uh, so you're looking at like 1.2 amps or something like that, I think, uh, per light. Um, and you don't get the same coverage area. You actually have to lower them quite a bit in order to get the coverage. So I'm still kind of on the fence about buying one to try it. I think LEDs are still the right way to go. This experiment here shows a lot of promise that uh, I think we're gonna leave this sit up here for a while. We're gonna record some actual, see how the plants do. Maybe throw some seeds in here as well to really check it out and give it a good run for its money. Uh, but this is not a bad setup. And if I, if I don't go with the entire bed, if I don't try to cover the entire bed, like right now, there's a, a dark spot there, there's a dark spot there, and there's a dark spot on the end. If I wanted to cover this entire bed uh, with grow lights, I could shift these lights down, I could put another bar right here in the middle, shift those ones down, and I would have six lights total uh, that would cover this entire bed. So, uh, <clears throat> Four is better than six as far as cost uh, to buy and cost to run goes. So I prefer to just maybe reduce the amount of vegetables we try to grow uh, and balance vegetable output versus cost to grow uh, a little bit more. So four lights and let's say 60% of the bed uh, is better than six lights and 100% of the bed because uh, the cost just goes whoop there at the end, which seems to be a constant rule, right? The, 80-20 rule, you get 80% of your value and the last 20% is 80% of your cost. Um, said differently, to get per perfection is very expensive. <laughs> the closer you get to 100%, the more expensive it gets uh, to get there. Sometimes the last 2% could be the most expensive. So, uh, I think that's it for tonight. Thanks for joining along. A uh, quick update here with this lighting experiment. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe. You can also follow us on Facebook and Twitter. In the meantime, everyone, this is Real Martian. Out.